great soundtrack is one of the most essential things you can use to make your video stand out. It can go a long way in adding some emotion to your video and it even has the potential to completely change the way a viewer perceives your content. While adding music to your videos is a relatively simple process on a PC, if you are using an Android or iOS device, you might face some issues finding the right app that will help you do the same. Which is why in this video, I will talk about some of the best apps for Android and iOS that you can use to add music to your videos. Hey guys. This is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and let's get right to it, shall we? Kicking off the list is KineMaster, which is a full-fledged video editor that you can get on both Android and iOS. And as you'd expect, the app lets you easily add any soundtrack to your videos in just a few taps. By the way, I'm not sure if it is KineMaster or KineMaster, whichever way you pronounce it. I guess we'll just have to focus on the work it does. Right, so let's just open the video you want to edit, then tap on Audio in the Selection wheel, choose the soundtrack from your device's storage, tap on the plus icon next to it, and it will automatically be added as a second layer with your video. Then you can move the audio track in the timeline to make sure it plays just where you want it to. Check the preview by tapping on the play button and then export the final video if you are happy with the results. Simple, isn't it? And that just barely scratches the surface of what this app is actually capable of. As I said, it's a full-fledged video editor and it's a pretty much like the professional video editing software you'd use on a PC. Next up, there is Filmora Co, which is another great video editor that you can use to add music to your videos. Unlike KineMaster, Filmora Go is a much more simplified video editor that's targeted at beginners. And this means that it's even easier to use. Check this out. If I want to add some music to my video, all I need to do is tap on the music icon on the right toolbar and tap on the plus icon in the bottom left corner and then choose the music I want to add in the following screen. And with just that, the track you selected will be added to the video. You can even adjust when the soundtrack starts or stops by moving the markers in the progress bar. You also get access to an audio mixer in the edit menu which will allow you to adjust the volume of the original audio and the soundtrack you've just added. The only downside is that even though the app is available on iOS, it's not as feature rich as the one you get on Android. So if you're an iPhone user, I'd suggest checking out one of the other options. Next up, we have the popular InShot video editor that simplifies the process even further both on iOS and Android. To add music to your videos using InShot, you just need to tap on the music button in the bottom toolbar, select from one of the featured tracks or use your own track from the My Music section and you're good to go. You can tap on the timeline to adjust the volume, tap on the inserted music to edit it or long press and drag to sync it with the video. It is that straightforward. If you want, you can also add multiple tracks to your video just as easily. Just tap on the tracks icon and select the next track. Much like KineMaster, InShot works equally well on both Android and iOS, so you can use it no matter which device you have. However, Android users can also use the Ucut app from the same developers, which offers pretty much all the same features without any annoying banner ads. Moving on, let's take a look at a couple of iOS-only apps that will help you add music to videos with ease. First, there's the Splice Video Editor, which is also quite easy to use. You get access to all the tools in a bar at the bottom and to add music to a video, you just need to select the music tool. From the following menu, you can select music directly from iTunes or you can even choose a track that you have imported onto your device. Once you have added the soundtrack, you can move it around by long pressing on the track in the timeline to align it perfectly. You can also adjust the volume and playback speed from the bottom toolbar. After you are done editing the track as per your needs, you just need to tap on the share button in the top right corner, adjust the output resolution and frame rate and tap on the save button to render the video to your phone's internal storage. Now, if you don't like Splice, you can also check out the Video Editor app on iOS. It's just as easy to use if not easier and you can add music to your videos just by tapping on the music tab right under the progress bar and selecting the add music option in the following menu. You can also edit the soundtrack by tapping on it on the timeline with the app allowing you to adjust the volume, add a fade effect and also change the time at which the track starts playing. Once you are satisfied with the results, you can tap on the export arrow in the top right corner 
and you're good to go. The app will render your video and automatically save it to your phone's album. If these simple apps don't cut it for you, then you can also try the Filmmaker Pro app on iOS. Much like Kindmaster, Filmmaker Pro app is a desktop grade video editor that packs in almost all the features you'd need to edit a video, including the option to add your own custom soundtrack. You can do that by tapping on the music button in the toolbar to the right of the preview window and select the audio file you want to add. The app gives you the option to choose a file from your music library or the one that's stored on your device's internal storage. To edit the music, you can tap and hold on the music icon on the timeline, which will allow you to crop the audio clip, add a fade effect, adjust the speed or change the volume. To export the final clip, all you need to do is tap on the share button in the left toolbar and choose the resolution and frame rate of the output clip. After all these iOS-only apps, let's round things off with another great video editor for Android called Action Director. To add music to your video with this app, you can select the audio option in the bottom toolbar and then tap on the plus sign next to the background music to select a track. Once the track is added, you get the option to add a fade effect to it, set it to repeat and adjust the volume so that it doesn't overpower the original audio. From the same menu, you'll also be able to add short sound effects by tapping on the plus sign next to the sound clips option. Tap on the check mark in the top right corner after you're satisfied with the results and you're done. Your video now has a banging new soundtrack with it. So that wraps it up for this video. Make sure you subscribe to GT if you don't want to miss more such lists. And let us know what you'd like to see next time in the comments below. Zabiji signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.